Well, hello there, everyone. How you doing on this wacky Wednesday? It's December the 6th in the year 2023. Hopefully you're doing outstanding. I got my daily cup of green tea here, but now I've been drinking two cups a day, sometimes three cups, sometimes four cups of tea. Maybe not all green tea, but two or three maybe. Green tea, black tea, chamomile tea, ginger tea at times too. Anyway, I got cloves in this one. You know, cloves are C-L-O-V-E-S, cloves. They're healthy for you. So you just gotta be careful I don't um, accidentally ingest one. I don't feel like chilling on one while watching the video. So anyway, with that being said, that, br that brief little chat there, I am Masky Finance. I'm coming to you from outside of the United States of America. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a CPA, I'm not an attorney. I am definitely not a doctor and I'm not a nutritionist. And what I want to talk to you about today, as my title probably suggested to you, do not throw rocks if you live in glass houses. What in the world do you mean by that, Maskey? What are you doing coming with these off-the-wall topics? Are you trying to get subscribers or get more views or something by getting these? Well, if you are, Maskey, you're a fool. You're not doing thumbnails. You're not making a flashy title. You're not flashing lights. You're not putting up text. So, Maskey, you're failing at what you're doing. Don't throw rocks in glass houses. <laughs> Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because society as a whole throws lots of rocks when they're inside a glass house. I've said in a video a long time ago, I've made a video maybe with this in the title, I can't remember. I got, what, 600 and some videos. If you want to blame somebody, if you want to blame your boss, if you want to blame your parents, if you want to blame your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your teacher, your coworker, the President of the United States, the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, the Baltimore Orioles, the New York Yankees. If you want to blame somebody for whatever it may be, Congress, the Boomers, the Gen Xs, the Millennials, the Ys, the Zs, you know, if you want to blame anybody, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror at yourself. It is the year 2023. If you're a Native American, I got some Cherokee blood in me, so that gives me permission to talk about it, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> if you're a Native American, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You weren't alive when the Europeans came over and started wiping you out and killed your ancestors. You weren't. If you're African American, you weren't alive when your peers in Africa captured your ancestors to bring your ancestors to the United States. That was hundreds of years ago. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. If you're a white American, stop saying, boo-hoo, I'm the minority now. You know, my mom and dad, they're boomers. They ruin society for me. I'm a millennial. I'm a Gen X. Stop crying. Look in the mirror, okay? My channel is about financial education. My channel has deviated a bit to talk about health. We all, all of us, every single one of us, we need to do this, we need to look at it, we need to work at improving our, ourselves and our entire lives. We need personal responsibility, personal accountability. We need to take responsibility for ourselves. Okay, if we're working a job and we're not getting enough money, what can we do about it? In my generation, I used to hear, you go to school at nighttime, you get a better education, you improve yourself, whatever your job is, if you're a mechanic, Take a course on being a better mechanic, get more hands-on experience, more OJT, become a better mechanic. If you're in the corporate field, learn your whatever your specialty is, your trade. If you're an accountant, get better at it, learn it. If you're a construction person, get become the best at it. If you're a landscaper, be the best landscaper you can be. All of us cannot be number one. It's just how it is, just how it is. If you think you're the top dog, if you are, I jokingly sometimes tell someone that I am the king of Gary, Indiana. I'm joking about it because this person claims he's the king of Gary, Indiana. By golly, there is no king of Gary, Indiana. Kings and queens are over in England and other countries. They're not in the United States of America. No one is the king of Gary. I made the mistake. I was in Gary earlier this year, last year, whenever it was, earlier this year. And I was in a business and I was talking with a gentleman about Gary and I made the 
an appropriate comment of saying something to the fact that as an investor, I am trying to make a better future for the city of Gary. However I said, I try to say it nicely, whatever I said. And I think he took offense to it. Because he replied to me something to the fact, and I'll general, generalize here in a nutshell, Gary is just fine like it is. They don't need outsiders coming in trying to make a better Gary when there's nothing wrong with Gary. By golly, maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. All right? Maybe I need to look in the mirror a little bit more better, don't I? So, anyway, how's your day been going? Have you started taking financial responsibility? Have you looked at your credit score on Credit Karma or a credit, uh, your bank site or someplace? Have you done any tweaks to improve your credit score? If you have credit card debt, are you working to pay off your credit card debt? If you have other debt, if you have auto loan debt, are you working to pay it off? If you're not making enough money at your job, are you working a second job? Are you working overtime? If your kids don't respect you and, huh, there's a lizard out there. <laughs> if your kids don't respect you, can you do something differently, differently as a parent? You know, and I could go on and on and on. So it's that old saying, if you live in glass houses, and my house has glass windows all around it. <laughs> so I, I got to be careful. And there's rocks. There's part of my house is rocks on the outside where there's not big glass windows. But I got to be careful not to throw rocks because I'm in a, I got glass windows just like you do. So take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for your family and your children. You cannot take full responsibility for your spouse, no matter if you're a guy or girl, whatever you may be, because your spouse is also an adult. You are a partnership. Neither one of you is better than the other one. You are a partnership. All right? Don't point fingers at the other person saying they're guilty for such and such. It's a partnership. It's 50-50. It takes two people to tango. It takes two people to have a baby. Because I know when I was younger, there'd be a single parent and fingers would be pointed at, sometimes at the mom, sometimes at the absentee dad. But all of us just need to look in the mirror. Okay, there's stories after story after story gone through the annals of history of folks who did bad things. <laughs> just how it was. Sorry about that. I sucked the clove in. So if you're living in 2023, if you have not bought your first rental property yet, maybe you don't want to. Maybe you don't know how to. Maybe you just need to stockpile more cash because maybe you're not finding the right deal. I understand. I understand. I understand. I don't know what market you're looking in. You may hear me talk about Gary and you might say you want to buy in Gary. Okay. There's plenty of houses in Gary, but I will say there's a lot of houses that are need to be torn down still, or they're going to need, if you buy them, they might need $25,000 worth of work to get them back in livable condition. Okay. So keep that in mind. If you're looking in your backyard, where do you live at? Do you live in California? Do you live in Maryland? Do you live in Virginia? Do you live in Florida? Do you live in Kentucky? Where do you live at? I started off buying in my backyard in Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley. It's not a bad area. You know, my first house I bought, I still own it. I bought it for like 97000 Might have been ninety seven five. I bought two houses that year, 197, 197, five. I think it was 97. I still own it. And it was, it's now been, what, six years, I guess? Almost seven years. And according to Zillow and those sites, you know, it's worth about $200,000 right now. So it's doubled in value. I did get it at slightly under market value when I bought it. I did do some improvements to it. So it is what it is. Could I have kept buying there? Yeah. Did I have to venture out to Gary? No. I just wanted to buy more houses faster and faster. <laughs> and I knew if I kept buying in Virginia, it would take me a little bit longer to save up the down payment because if I'm buying a house for 100 grand, put 20% down, that's $20,000. But when I fought, bought my first house out of state, it was down in Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama. I bought a house for $35,000. 30, I'm pretty sure it's 30, yeah, $35,000. I did um, split the cost of a new roof with the seller. The seller was another investor. Um, 
but he did a lot of other repairs for me. I did get a mortgage on it. I did put 20% down. I did buy a second house in Birmingham a year later. I bought that one for $22,000. But I, no, I bought it for $24,000. But I had to do $22,000 worth of rent, rehab work to it. And then I started, in between those two houses, I started buying up in Gary, Indiana. My first house in Gary, uh, I can't remember what the price was. It was probably in the 60s, maybe $70,000. Okay, subsequent houses in Gary have ranged from a low of $18,000 to, I think, a high of $69,900. My first house might have been in that range, too. I can't remember for sure now. Um, so it's been in that range. Right now, it's harder to buy a house in that range in Gary. It's not impossible. It's just harder. Okay. Um, the turnkey company I used, they were selling me, they sold me seven or eight houses up there. Um, they're still selling houses, but now all their houses are pretty much in over hundred grand. Okay, they were selling them to me back in 2019 for 55, 60, 65 ish, 69 thousand dollars. Okay, so you got to do what you got to do. You got to figure out what market you want to buy in. I'm the sort of investor I like to diversify. You got investors like Michael Zuber, who says you got to stay in your lane. He's 100% real estate, okay? That's fine, that's fine, that's, that's what he chooses to do. I choose to diversify into different states. I have real estate now in Florida, I have real estate in Virginia, I have real estate in Indiana, I have real estate in Illinois. I also own real estate because it is real estate, but it's not a house, it's mineral rights, or I got an investment in oil drilling, in Texas, in Oklahoma, Wyoming, Colorado, and maybe another state. I also got an investment in another company that's in the country of Mexico. I'm currently living in the country of Panama and I'm spending dollars here, basically investing in this country to spur, help spur their economy. But I'm just one guy. All I am is one guy. I keep seeing stuff moving outside. <laughs> so, you're just one person also. So don't throw stones at when you live in a house with glass windows. Don't point your finger at all those different people. Point it at yourself, okay? If you don't like the way that the United States of America is heading, if you don't like the way, the fact that Social Security is supposed to run out of money in 2020, 2033 or ish, if you don't like the direction and the morality in the country is going, if you don't like the racial problems in the country, the drug problems, the alcohol problems, the illiteracy problems, whatever those problems are, we'll try to do something about it. You can't fix the world, but you can do your part. Sometimes your part is just to work a good job, raise good children, pay your bills, and maybe that's good enough. Sometimes your part is to invest in your local economy and buy an extra house and provide housing for somebody who can't quite afford to buy a house yet. And while you're doing that, you might make a buck or two. Maybe that's your prerogative. Maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe you decide to become healthier so you can stick around to see your grandchildren or great-grandchildren and you start drinking a daily cup of green tea. Or you start doing whatever it is you want to do. We have freedom of choice. We have the freedom to do literally anything we want to do. It's 2023. Granted, if you're watching me and you're over in on the Gaza Strip <laughs> and you're 12 years old, you might feel like you're doomed and I might have trouble telling you exactly what to do. But most of you watching this aren't, aren't a 12 year old on the Gaza Strip. You're probably in the United States. You might be in the country of Panama. You might be in Canada. It's probably in North America somewhere, because Panama is in North America. Okay. Um, you might be in Europe. But I'll paint a broad brush and say that all of you, all the, everyone viewing my videos, you got the ability to improve your quality of life. You got the ability to start buying real estate. You got the, the ability to become an investor. You got the ability to help other people, and so on and so on and so on. It's getting hot in here. I don't think this air conditioning up there is working quite properly. I'll have to look into that. 
All right, so with that being said, it's getting long enough. My videos take a long time to load, so have a great day. Stay safe in all you do. Keep loving life. Let me know below what topics you want me to talk about. And that means, and you want me to do a live show sometime. And then you can ask me questions if I do a live show. Let me know below. And with that being said, have a great day. Stay warm wherever you're at. And Maskey's signing out.